we are going to just go back to camp. Yeah, and that's all. The, the, that's also the whole crux of a lot of the fucking Dragon Age universe is the whole thing between the mages and the Chantry and oh, that shit is just like I don't even know why they keep doing that. Which I thought it was admiral for Dragon Age 2 to try to explore. But the emphasis is on try. They didn't actually explore it. Alright. I find it very odd. It Let's go to wait. Me. Am I in it now too? I feel honored. For one who professes to be a warrior, I find it. Alright. Wait's Emporium. And then we get the freeze, and then the crash. I told you Denderman was crash shitty. I just hope it didn't happen like that. Okay, I'm gonna try two more times. If it still happens those two times, then I'm not gonna bother with Denderim right now on stream. I will do that off stream. Try to do that. Like, all I want to do is just, like, get some special armor stuff. There we go. The Darkspawn were the big bats. It's more like the Fade and whatever life's in there. Yeah, actually. There is also this theory that actually the Darkspawn are caused by the Fade. And you made a promise to help her. Uh, yes. Why would you do such a thing? Waste Emporium. Please don't crash again. Okay. Here we go. Heron. Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Uh, I'm here about Drake's skills. Of course. He's back. He's back. Have you reconsidered? I could make such fine armor with your skills. Wait, I haven't talked to you yet. Um. I'll pay ten sovereigns extra. Pay, make it good and quickly. Excellent. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heron. Think of it. I'm trying to stop. There we go. Right. Now, hopefully, we can go back to camp. No, the game crashes. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay. One more try. One more try. Is it does crash? Then fuck it, we're gonna just go straight to the fucking dwarven city stuff. And I'll bother with Denarim on my own time. My problem is I can't just take out the mods that might cause this. Because then it just I understand gives problems to the fucking rest of the Entirely rest of the game. Defense. So it claims it could not have been. I'll be done. Oh god, the textures are not loaded in. Fuck. Welcome back. You're looking for. Get about Drake's skills. Play tens of an extras. Okay. Now what I want to do? Is get to the world map. Wide open world. Camp. Oh god, we're having this glitch again. Save game. At least we're out of Denarim. It's load game. Okay, maybe we should exit game for a little bit. Then resume game. And with the runtime error. And it crashes. Fucking Denarim always giving me these goddamn different troubles. Zoom. There we go. Okay. Now we go back yeah. to check for the armor. Except. The 
swamp witch desires something from it. From what? Ah, you mean from him? <laughs> and if I do, what up? Right. Let's talk. You're here about your order. Yes, I am. It's done. I made the armor. And it's garbage. I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll change. The die isn't even prettier. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. <laughs> it's fine. Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. But I still have more trick skills. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um, I have more trick skills. You must be kidding. We're done. No further end. More scales. I can make another set. Even trusted. No. I've been thinking every night about what I do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heren, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Alright, well, here is 20 seconds extra. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. Alright. Now we leave again. Hopefully without crashing. Alright. World map. Wide open worlds. Party camp. Ugh, God dang, I'm rubbing this issue again. Let's do save game again. Exit game. I'm just gonna exit out on my own. Just so it, it's like I'll be before you fucking crash. There we go. I will not give you the satisfaction to crash on me. I'll crash on my own. Thank you very much. Ugh, God, these fucking problems in Venom. Gotta go different to fourth. Yes, yes. Okay, and it's always just the market district. That's all it is. It's just the market district in Denerim that gives me that that's giving me these troubles. in no other area than a market district. When you were standing there all that time, did you sleep? I have no need to sleep. My body does not get okay, I'm seeing to... fucking texture glitches again. And the textures aren't here either, fuck. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such and such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now please leave. There we go. We now have more Drake scale armor. Alright. Back to camp. Or we can crash. That can work too. Fuck. Okay, now I can do this. Zoom. Okay. Let's try it one more time. One more time, if it's if it crashes again, without me being able to complete anything, then so off stream before. I just finish oh, it on my own. But, yeah. And you made a promise to help her. Uh, yes. Why would you do such a thing? Emporium. Go. Go and now suddenly he's hammering over here. Map, wide open world, party camp, 
Okay, we're having this issue now, but it's we we can deal with this issue. Because all we do is just save game. There we go. Then we exit game. Just completely quit. And then we start up again. At least we can get around that issue. Hey Serena. How's it going? That's all the side stuff I wanted to do. Um, let's actually check my Drake. The Drake skill stuff I've gotten. Let's see. Your way superior Drake skin gloves. Uh, I'll actually give that to Zevran, I think. Here you go. This is for you. Uh, well, maybe. Let's check. This is for you. And this is for you. Huh. It doesn't actually give me a uh, stat bonus, so. It gives more armor and, f and fatigue, but. I don't know. Hmm. These does give more. Interesting upgrade, so let's do that. That, that. Uh, we'll keep it like this then. Alright, and then uh, Morgan, let's check your stuff again. Are you guys just having an emoji off in the fucking comments? In the chat? Where's Liliana? Oh, there she is. Alright, uh, disappear your boots. Give her a superior boots. Let's see the gloves. Let's give the gloves. And armor. And Battle Dress of the Provocateur is better. There we go. Alright, now let's sell off the rest of that equipment so we don't bother with it anymore. Anything I can Let me see your wares. Uh, first off, let's give you this Alpha Dagger. Then, uh, oh yeah, let's give you Mage's Eye. I'm not gonna use that anymore. Throw leather gloves. Smuggler's bracelets. Leather gloves. Dixian boots. Lion's ball. Rihanna's armor. Stutter leather armor. Stutter leather armor. Chain mail. Chain mail. There we go. Freeing up a lot of stuff. Also, Morgan's ropes can go. Warden's Oath, keep that. German Still Waters. Get rid of that. Pearl of the Anointed. I can still keep that. Uh, ooh, expert paralysis rune. Might actually put that on my on my axe. Enchantment. Yes, enchanting. There we go. Where is it? Uh, expert paralysis rune. There we go. Expert dwemer rune. Master frost rune. Ysiris. Let's put a uh, some spell resistance on there too. Asala. Let's give you a Paralysis Rune, Mysterian Smite, also Paralysis Rune, and a Slow Rune. There we go. Awesome. Pretty much used up all the runes that I had. Cool. Now we shall go to the Dwarven Lands. World map. We shall take Alistair with us, Shale, and Morrigan. Nothing else to be done around here. I could do some DLC, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I might do this DLC after we're done with uh, Frostback Mountains. Alright. Time for us to go back home. Back home to Ozama. And try to get the help from the dwarves. This should be very interesting indeed. See how my home is involved. From last I left it. We'll see how my sister is doing, how mom is doing. Will be a nice, nice happy family reunion. Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Let 
apparently we're having a little bit of trouble on stream. I'm seeing that right now. Oh, okay, it fixed itself. Okay. King Logain will not be at us. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. <laughs> Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Uh, settled? Something happened? What was it? What, what, something happened to what was it? King Endrin? You won't get in talking about a king like that. Wait, look at me. You're the brand who dishonored the Pruvik. Trust you to be ignorant of our tragedy. Orzammar has no king. Endrin I do can return to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. Well, they still remember me. Um, I am a great warden. This treaty obliges Orzammar to, uh, to aid me. The wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. What, nothing about my brand anymore? Okay. And what was that you said? A filthy brand? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. <laughs> Run to your false king. The dwarves will not hear him today. You, you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. We'll see about that, won't we? King Andrew and I do can seek out Stuart Bandador. Hmm. Oh, Hello, Guard. Hello, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. Fair journeys, Warden. <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Serena. The best of their ancestors. If there is anything complimentary to be said about these people, it is that they possess a remarkable facility for carving stone. Imagine if all of those were golems. <laughs> Dwarven beggar. A new bitch for an old man. No, I can't. Right, the paragons. Paragon Autumn. Now that has been a beauty, daughter. If you were carved like Blanca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Oh dear. Being pressured by your parents. Paragon Hydrilin. Lantana. Graal. All kinds of paragons. I find it very odd. It meaning... Me. Commission report. Am I in it now too? I feel honored. For one who professes to be a warrior, I find it remarkably weak-willed and indecisive. Uh, thank you? It also likes to hide its many weaknesses behind a veil of jocularity. For a statue, you know a lot of big words. Is there a reason it enjoys following others so much? Especially when it is in a position to lead. Have you ever been responsible for someone else's life? Or a lot of other lives? Or an entire nation? Of course not. Then shut up. I will remember this moment when the birds come. <laughs> oh yes, the birds. The dreaded birds. Okay, before we enter here, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just gonna get myself a new drink. Alright, be right back.
again, and I would not eat a Kit Kat bar, Serena. I'm not a chocolate person. Reduce the damage received from a successful weapon attack. Yes, because what does make a character harder hit is defense. Alright. Uh oh. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king. Damn, son. Well then. I won't have fighting in the commons, especially in front of outsiders. I know what that son of a fool. I'll have him in the legion. <laughs> Oh, dear, oh dear. And yes, I don't like Kit Kat Bar Serena, because it's chocolate, and I don't eat chocolate. Hello, Captain of the Guard. Fiesta, I've had enough crime without some castless carrying weapons in the city. Your actions risk pain of death. Name yourself. Great Warden is all the name you need. Warden. You? When I heard they accepted a brand, I thought it was a joke. The surfaces in their cloud addled heads. Fine, oh illustrious Grave Warden. What do you want? Well, a oh, crate. I'm still being discriminated against. Supplies coming and I need or some more assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher Lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Sounds like Balin and Harriman are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harriman speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. You mentioned Paragons. Are you sure you're still a dwarf? Ancestors have patience if Bronca could hear this. Well... I wouldn't be standing in dried blood. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperin. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Fine. Can a city function like this? You have little faith in your own city, Bran. Excuse me, warden, but this isn't Dust Town. The tavern is open and the market is busy. Orzammar has suffered worse. The ancestors will see us through. All right, I should get going. Yes, you should. Yeah, goodbye. Idiot. Well, not for me, Serena. Not for me. Wow. So this is Orzammar. It's you. I am told that it lost a large number of comrades in the battle with the Darkspawn. Me? I guess I did. Yes. All right. Let's see. Didn't know all of them that well. Nerev. Mostly just. Who are you? Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. This Balin, is that King Endrin's son? Aye. I thought you'd know this. I've been away for a while. It's a burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. What do you know about this Lord Harrowmont? You're from the surface. I thought with all your finery, but I suppose that explains the mark on your face. From long ago, I suppose. Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcomed him as the assembly to endorse Harrowmont. But isn't Balin King Endrin's son? Aye. 
What a terrible burden for a father to have only great. Okay, we've already been this. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced People are at each other's throats. The city is torn apart. King Endrin is dead and the assembly can't decide who takes the throne. Lord Harrimont or that monster Balin. Why is it hate for Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died up bed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. Is Harrimont qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Well, who are you then? I am Narav Helmut, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmut. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? Uh, I am a Grey Warden, and I'm here seeking aid. A Grey Warden? But there are no Dwarven Grey Wardens this generation, except for... Oh, that's who you are. I thought, with the brand, I, I assumed you were a servicer. I have to go. Oh, now suddenly you're uncomfortable talking to me? Well, fuck you a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go this way for now. Let's see. Chainer Armors. What do we have here? Oh, hey, I recognize this place. This is Balin's, this is Balin's old shop. I mean, like, the crime lord I worked for, I'm forgetting his name right now, but... And yeah, this was a crime lord shop. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I, uh, assume you have some kind of dispensation to let you wear all that. I'm a grave warden. How many times do I have to say it? Many apologies. I had to ask. So, what can I help you with? Uh, you know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him. He always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, I cannot object. Are you part of Smithcast? I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fall and tassel, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh... I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. <laughs> well, gee, what gave that away? Just let me see what's in your stores. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Cool. All right, let's see what you have. Hmm. Nothing that's really enticing to me. All right. Well. Oh, hey, I see the hole. The hole is still there. I'm sure we will be doing something with that later on. Still a hole in the wall. There's still a hole in the wall. And we shall go through the hole in the wall. Okay. Hmm. Filled up. Hello. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Uh, I can move aside. Um, I don't have much to bring them. Who are you? My name is Filda. Widow of Torak of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rux. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for a safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. What happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only Smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud. They got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Do you want me to look for him? How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll end up there at one point. I'm a Grey Warden, that's what I do. Warden? So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Alright, well, we got ourselves a side quest for once we get into the deep roads. Alright, what else we got around here? Arms merchant. Talk to the arms merchant. Good afternoon, and oh, I don't do business with your kind. Uh, I'm a great warden. You will sell to me. Let's do intimidate. You really want to say that? Oh, you must be the warden then. I remember that proving. Well, look around if you must. Array for intimidation. Mm, sounds like things are pretty tense around here. I, 
They say King Entry named an heir on his deathbed, but the Deshers are too busy fighting for power. Do you know Lord Balin at all? I met him once. Didn't even mind talking with one of the merchant caste. But when he left, I saw him slap around his second. If he wasn't Prince, he'd be the kind of man I wouldn't want my daughter marrying. Let me see your inventory. I hope you find something to your liking. That's a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons I won't use. Alright, uh, Lechnor. A brand in the common. An outfitted like a topsider, no less. Good. Let people see castless have a purpose. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Your allegiance to this Balin is clear. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's a traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither a paragon. And the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. You approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Right. Um, the blight is coming. Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to well, let me see what you have in store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, interesting lure. Uh, tomb of the Mortal Vessel. Uh, tomb. It's rendered useless afterwards. Yep, I'll take that. Quicksilver Arming Cap. Seems like fine. Ooh, Shadow of the Empire. Damn, son. Strength, dexterity, constitution. That's some good fucking armor. I'm gonna buy that. Silver Hammer Vaders. Those are some really good stuff. Quicksilver Armor Cap. Actually, also really good. Just gonna take it all. Alright, what do we have here? Remarkable Sapphire. Take that. Call the Civil of Andraste. Take that. Ella King's Flagon, take that. Silver Demon Head Ring, take that. Gold Earrings, take that. Um, let's sell this Death Coat of Arms. We don't need it. Cool. Alright. Then, Alistair. I think what I have for you is a golden symbol of Andraste. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, wait, no, that was Liliana's sh shtick. Ah, well. And for more again, we have a silver demon head ring. Interesting. Okay, that's not what she wanted, but maybe some gold earrings. Interesting. Okay, maybe not as well. Oh, well. Every little bit helps. All right. Uh, hello, Brother Burkle. Maker's blessing on you, brother. Um, why are you invoking a human god? The Maker brought forth this world and every creature in it. He chose a human woman as his prophet and bride, but he loves all races. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. <laughs> and that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Do you want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I hoped you'd say that. Oh, jeez. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Fine. Also, almost forgot the fucking tomb here. And I'll put that in Constitution. That's what I need right now. 
I need to be tougher. Harder, faster, harder, stronger. What is that smell? It's a tavern. More than vomit. I hope there is someone being murdered and not simply singing. I do not even want to think from what manner of substance a cave dwelling people would create their spirits. Well, it's usually dung meat. Or dung piles. Nuck dung. That's what I that was that's what I'm looking for. Nuck dung. Alright, what do we have here? Cora. If you want to drink in here, Brand, you'd better have the coin. I don't know if it was stolen. Is that the teacher gay warden? So that explains the stand you're wearing. I was about to call a guard. I suppose you're the one from the proving. Well, welcome to Tapsters, and hope we can serve you. Mm, oh, like a drink. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, you should be able to serve your needs. What do you have? Um, I like some mead. I have an award-winning honey mead. Surface family ships it down here every month. Only one and a half silvers a mug. Sold. One honey mead coming right up. A few months ago, you might have seen the prince here, but now he never leaves his estate. Well, I have other customers to see too. If you need anything else, just call me over. All right then. I understand nothing you're doing, Nevin. Huh. Didn't know Cora was letting him brand. I'm a great warden, God dang it. Started all the trouble in the proving. I'm Naveen. I'm with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Brand or no, anyone who hunts darkspawn is all right with me. Good folks, wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. You know Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. You work for Balin. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Who is your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. I've never been in the Dib Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Um, who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tides. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Who's Bronca? You don't know Bronca? <laughs> guess not everyone's as impressed with her as she'd like to think. Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. Oh dear. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. Okay then. That's enough of them. Lobster pattern. Lord, help me. I don't understand why the proofings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Hello, Helmy. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother. Why is that person walking through me? I'm in taverns. So I'm curious. You've been living on the surface, right? Does it function any worse than Orzammar for having abolished caste? Things are hardly equal on the surface. But there are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other casts. You know, most smiths... You're also the first person not to just, make you know, just insult me because I have a brand. A chance in a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Exactly. Hey, Zaren. How's it going? Uh, do you know anything? So you get to vote on the next king? Do you know anything about this carta? The assembly passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course they turn to crime. What else can they do? I should get going. As you wish. Well, 
Lord Helmy, I will support you if you will like abolish the, want to abolish the caste system. Seems like a noble goal. Nervous adventure. I can't take it. Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. What? What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in Sol. Dormant, my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lot. Okay, then. Ah, this is the unbound stuff. I, I won't. Well, he just went out in a real big hurry. Alright, then. Headache? Aww. Sorry about that, Zaren. Hope watching me won't make it worse because, you know, looking at the computer screen and all that. All right, well, we've explored this site and that place just goes to Dust Town. I don't really need to explore that anymore. Let us go to the Diamond Quarter. What do we have here? Armor Merchant. Armor Merchant. Can't talk to Armor Merchant. Okay, then. Nuck Wrangler. I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they scare me. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. If I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Well, there should be enough nugs around the place. Let's go hunting for nugs. Nugs, nugs, nugs. Nugs everywhere. Um, hi. Oh, I actually was talking to your companion. Or are you from the surface too? Uh, you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Circle of Magi? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Do you want me to ask them? That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smith Cast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Vertikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Okay, then. It's another side quest we got ourselves into. Garen. Greetings. And welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? <laughs> um, have a look at my shop, I hope. Right. I have some lovely things here. Lyrium. Enhanced, of course. Seems you have been hitting the Lyrium a little bit too hard there. The Rose's Thorn. Do physical technique. Yes, I will take that. Uh, what else we have here? Oh, hello in the mirror. That I'll give to someone. Life giver. Holy shit! Constitution, health regeneration in combat while exploring, plus two armor. Oh, hell yeah, I'm taking this. And we'll take some of these amulets. Small clear lightning crystal. We shall take that one too. Large clear natural crystal. Large cradle spirit crystal. We should take the natural crystal. There we go. I have the money for it, so whatever. Alright. So first off. We shall give you natural crystal. And then the small clear lightning crystal. Which gives you dexterity and attack. There we go, that's awesome. Then, Morrigan. First, we shall give you the bracelet. Interesting. Not too much, but no matter. Give you an amulet. A fine gift. There you go. You have my thanks. Now we're at 100 approval. Let's give you the mirror. What have you there? A mirror? It is just the same as the mirror which Clement smashed on the ground so long ago. It 
is incredible that you found one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. Simple present for a beautiful woman. I have never received a gift. Not one that did not also come with a price attached. Perhaps there is a price to pay yet. Hmm? <laughs> if so, it is deserved. Thank you. True. No problems, Morrigan. So, Karen, are you okay? Have you seen my lunch? It's a, it's a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad thing. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging, then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work you've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. What exactly happened to you? Well, it's valerium, you know. Raw blood of the earth. It's more alive than you and me. M -m -m Most of the time, that's no problem. When it's all bundled up in a piece of steel, you can leave it at home. But handling the ore directly, so sometimes you get burned. It's not just your skin it takes off. It'll burn directly into your mind. So working with Larry made you crazy? Not crazy, just a little forgetful. Don't worry, I'm fine when I work. Just look at my wares. I have the best blades here. Enchanted to hold papyr, ice, anything you want to put in it. Aren't dwarves immune to Larium effects? I, of course we are. You should know. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we, we should be able to handle it just fine. Oh, yeah, Only you're definitely fine. holding it up fine. Not breathing the dust and not directing the blood. Ancestors only bad luck. Alright, well, um, let me see your wares. Because I think there was some stuff I could sell to you. Um, no, apparently I was wrong about that. Actually, I want to check Alistair's equipment. Yeah, we can give him some new armor stuff. Uh, oh, strength 41. There we go. I can give him the Templar stuff. Wait, no, that needs 44. But I can give him the, the shield, at least. There we go. Awesome. At least he has the shield now. The other stuff will get that once he's a higher level. Right, now let's go look for this for a nug around here. There's a nug. This no doubt leads out to the deep roads, the ancient passages that once led to the I got a nug. The deep roads are home to the dark spawn now. Oddly, they're supposed to be safer to travel during the flight. So now that we have you again, let's activate frost weapons. Um, and then it crashed. Just because I activated frost weapons. Okay, then. I hope I didn't lose all my fucking data. No, in my luck, I probably did. again okay let's put you right here zoom Jesus what the mm -hmm. keeps fucking crashing on me again Do this autosave. No, it's fuck 
Fucking hell. You're not gonna tell me all my fucking saves are corrupted. Let's try this one. Fucking crash again! Okay. One more try. Oh, but it does. It will fucking take my save from the fucking Frostback Mountains all the way fucking back. Jesus Christ. Alright, now we go to the Diamond Quarter. This should at least be interesting. I can't believe it. I heard a dwarf and Grey Warden came to Orizamar and I couldn't help but hope. Oh, look at you. My little brother, the returning hero. And with quite the unusual entourage. Oh my god, it's my sister. Is that you and all those jewels, all those changing jewels? Can you imagine? As of last month, I'm a royal concubine to House Idukin. They've moved Mother and me into the palace. You could fit our whole neighborhood just in the bathing room. I wish you could meet little Endrin. But they don't let me bring him outside the royal nursery. Yep, you're a mother? Little Endrin was born right before his grandfather died. His grandfather, the king. Can you believe it? My son is an Idukin. The future king of Orzammar spends his nights in my bed. Barat was a toad, but I have to thank him for teaching me to read, dance, massage, and whatever else Balin sees in me. Then, are you going to be queen? Of course not. His wife will be queen. But my son is a prince. Your nephew could sit on the throne of Orzammar. I was mother and less gay. Mother is mother. We have everything we could want now, but well, you know what they say. You can't leave Dust Town if you always take it with you. And I haven't seen Lesky since you left. Balin doesn't like me spending time off the estate. Lesky knows how to take care of himself. What what about you? Has life been hard up there? All the news from the surface says terrible things are happening. Dark spawn attacks and a civil war among the humans. I need Orzammar to support the Wardens. And I'm sure the Assembly would agree if they weren't busy arguing the secession. I hate this. Until there's a king, the Assembly would let the world collapse rather than bow to anyone's better judgment. But I can introduce you to Vartek Gavorn. He's Balin's chief lieutenant. He could help you if anyone could. Great, take me there. He may be suspicious at first. Don't take it personally. It's been so hard to tell who's against us. Okay, I'm at the assembly. This is no place for a woman. What do you mean by this? Vartag, this is my brother. He comes on behalf of the Grey Wardens with dreadful news. Of course. I wasn't thinking. It would be hard not to notice the Grey Warden and his eclectic entourage. I hear you seek the aid of Orzammar's finest. Dead I do. This radio obliges Orzammar to send troops to the surface. Ah, ancient documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Eithnar Bimo, Paragon and King. That was 16 generations ago. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Some way I could help? My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramon from the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist. Well, he is the one taking care of my sister, so by default, I gotta go with him. Uh, what do we need to do? Aramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmut. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Aramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Cool. Well, I'll find these um, right now. Where did you get the permission notes? That's not important. 
If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Uh, oh, cool. Lady Days doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Oh yeah, I know how to find him. Don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Fine then. Also, let's talk to the assembly guard. The assembly, the assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass as a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Geshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Vandalor, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Now that is that that is an impossible task. Right. Oh, hello, Steward. Forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. You don't recognize a great word? Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. Welcome back to Orson, our warden. A great deal has changed in recent days. Apparently. The respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. So anyway, you can break the stalemate. I must admit, warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman. They are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. No problem. Alright, let us go out of here. Go explore the diamond court a little bit. Doolin. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. I'm busy right now, we can talk later. If you like. Yeah, he, he, he's probably like gonna wanna recruit me for Lord Harrowmont, but no, I'm gonna go with Balin. I've already decided that he's the one taking care of my sister. I am told that it lost a large number of cops. Right, let's go to the Shaper. Anything else we can do here? Steve! Who would dare take from the memories? Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shapers. What have we been reduced to? I don't know. Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. No offense, Warden. <laughs> Probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Thief in the house of learning. Also, I just realized I still have these things. Better use them quickly. More constitution. And we shall get the rally upgrade. There's one left upgrade on our own. There we go. Alright, uh. Shall be done. Orta. Oh, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Ortan Tithe. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Ortan, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Ortan, who was training in Orzammar when the tithe fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records will be buried in the tithe's ruins, somewhere in the Deep Roads. I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not afraid of the Deep Roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the tithe, it was the Wardens. 
I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Don't worry about it, I'll see that it's done. Alright, hello, Shaper. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Um, I would like your permission to open a chantry here. That is an odd request. Have you grown so fond of the surfacer's ways in your brief absence? I come on behalf of Brother Burkle, a cleric of Redcliffe. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? Chantry charities could, could greatly aid Orzammar. What sort of charities do you mean? Uh... Change will educate children of all castes. I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well. But it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? There we go. All right. Uh, no, I thank you for your time. I will record this... Let's grab one of these books. More books here. We go in praise of the humble mug. A wall of memories. We're getting all the codexes now, are we? Shall dwarven folk songs. We can break open this chest. Search for the true prophet and gloves of diligence. All interesting stuff. And another book. Alrighty then. Now let us go out. Cool. Well, we've done that in shape rate, so let us go explore the diamond board a little bit more. Royal guards. So, how is it that you had a king? Lord Harrowmont said to have voted on everything in the street. Does he respect the houses they have? For such a short people, they do rather like their buildings. Ah, there's Lady Ditch. Who's also having some texture problems. What do you want? Are you one of those tiresome noble hunters? Neither my sons nor I are interested. I'm a Grey Warden. Ah, such a noble profession. Cleaning up whatever dark spawn stragglers make it to the surface. You must be very proud. You might want to look at these papers. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. Where is he? I'll bring these to him. He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. I'll go tell him. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Good luck. Alright, well, now we can able to explore the deep roads a little bit. Let's see what's in the weapon rack. It's a diamond mall. We have a helmet here. Midget here. lives here, I'll wager. Difficult time. Ah, the social strike is quickly to make oneself out of it, no matter where one goes. So the closer you live to the surface, how can you people just off. ignore that? Unless you're actually on the surface. Jesus Christ, people. Learn to house. shut up. Everybody but you. So 
Just get over the tapses and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off to teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exile. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. There's another council stuff in here. Even more codex updates, even more of XP. Get all the books, get all the XP, and holy hell, those sounds are getting really fucking annoying. Safe game here. So, I'm gonna try to reload to see if that saves, if that fixes the fucking texture problems. Let's see any big? No, no, she's still having texture problems. And the nug just faces in and out of existence. I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine what you mean. Okay. Let's see if Frost Weapons wants to work. I think I can it. it works, okay. Expenses, your good friend Jarvia in Kurgs was providing your protection. It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens, that no one decides to just burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. I don't trust this. Also, Jarvie is still alive, apparently. I wrangled an invisible nug. have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. Fucking Jarvia is now the leader of the of the fucking there, gangs in Dust Sound. You a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. For I can't say what might happen. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Nada. Hey, you're the Duster. The one who asked for Rot. Jarvia has been looking for you, and I bet she'd rather deal with you herself. Enjoy your last night alive, Duster. Yeah, well, goodbye to all of you. Figor? Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. What about a discount? Uh, Jarvia runs the Carta. Know anything about that? She's a monster. Plain and simple. Carta used to prey only on their own kind, but since Jarvia stepped in, they even dare the upper city. Whoever takes the throne had better root out the whole nest of them. That cart is worse than a pack of cave rats. Eh, don't worry, I'll take care of her. What do you know about her Carta? What do you have for sale? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. Yes, yes, just give me your health potions. All of them. Your injury kits, I'll take all of them too. Your lyrium potions, I'll take them too. Your injury kits, all mine. And I'll take the remarkable emerald. Cool. Let's go back to the commons. Now we have to go to Tapsters to find Lord Helmy there. There's a document. Me. Was the Tower of Magi everything you thought it would be? Abominations running rampant. Templars ready to slaughter every mage in sight. There's another nug there. Rather met all my 
It's another disappearing you nug. Better off getting your training there instead of whatever your mother taught you. You're right. My mother didn't nearly have as many abominations running about. Certainly would have improved. Oh yeah, I can talk to Brother Burkle now about this quest. I'll give you that one. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. You read the legible prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please come to our first service. I'll pass on that one. Get the nug. I'm just wrangling all the nugs. There's another nug right there. Nug, nug, nug. Nuggy, nuggy, nug, nug. Alright, well, let's go to Tapsters right now. As you say, I try. There is Lord Helmy. I told him I don't understand. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and. Yes, we've already heard of all about you. You've been living on this. You know me. You don't get far. I heard there was a grey warden in town. Oh, shoot, take my Very good. Or Orzammar is so mired. I have news. I don't even want the. Now I have to go through the whole process of rejecting. I don't know. I hear he killed his own brother. That's worse than Crooked Land is. But the rest of does it. I sometimes wonder if it wouldn't do better with a fair and intelligent. Oh, hey, Ogren. What do you want? Uh, I know who you are. That castless whelp who ran off to become a warden. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn. And now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. And they figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. I guess you're just like all the rest. All the rest of whom? Power hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Is that who Bronca is? She's the paragon? City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the agent's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? What are you talking about? What technology? You are looking for it. Of course. That's all anyone cares about. Well, you sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Okay, then. Sawed off, Duster. Oh, fuck off. I don't need this. Right. To the commons we go. Alright, well, we've convinced Lord Helmy to change his vote, so now we should go to the deep roads and find Lord Daesh. Get him to switch his vote too. And meanwhile, let's give this to Nug Wrangler. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. Stuck to the deep roots guard. Commander at least. Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. I'm looking for Lord Daesh's patrol. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozama doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they made their move from the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it except during blights. Yes, let's just save us if that's what's happening. Um 
Are dark spawn the only danger in these tunnels? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Deep stalkers? Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Are there no dwarves past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. All right. Uh, Legion of the Dead. You know the Legion, don't you? Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crime <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Well, I should go. Best of luck. All right. Oh, we're about to go past. Shall be done. Check out that room plate. Get your part. Let's go to the Idukan Tag. That's apparently where Lord Deesh is supposed to be. Alright. Let's go find this patrol. Genlock emissary right there. And more genlocks right here. Just give you a little pummel strike and the game crashes again. Okay, I swear to god, if 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 my saves are corrupted again, that's it. I'm not gonna bother with it anymore. I've dealt with it too much already. I'll find another game for the next Monday. Zoom. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm done. I'm fucking done. Ugh. Ugh. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> but the game is just not cooperating with me. And this, one, this is not good viewing for all of you, and this is not fun for me to deal with. So, I'm sorry. I'll find a new game for next time. Sorry for all of you who were excited for watching me play through this game, see where the story unfolds. Maybe I'll try again another time in the future, but not right now at least. So, sorry. So sorry. So for now, I'd like to thank all of you who at least watched today. Also all of you who joined me in the chat. And until next time, I bid all of you a good day and a good night.